Hello, this is Stockfather for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, today I'm going to look at AMC. It's not, I mean, it's technically for the first time today um, because I was too busy to look at it. I looked at my phone a couple times and seen that it was like sh shooting straight up. I recorded something over the weekend, but I, <laughs> I started like uh, after I was done recording it. I, I was like, you know, I, I really didn't say anything in that. Okay, so what I wanted to do was to come in and just look at this with fresh eyes. It's still within the the broader picture, right? We haven't broke above anything yet. Uh, we're getting close though. Let's see here. Uh, so today, okay. So that's where I was going to look, was where the volume came in today. The volume came in at the tippity top. So to me that says that, that whoever is controlling this just sold bunch of over 10 now this could have been a this could have been somebody that uh, an institution that got in that's not controlling it um, and has a uh, stop loss at 10 right and someone else is pushing it up and if you see here the next volume that comes in is once it hits ten dollars again and the volume comes in. So this is saying that sellers like ten dollars as a good selling point. Which why wouldn't you if you got in around seven dollars a normal stock that would be um, about right. I would think that um, that would be logical. So I'm thinking that um, someone selling over ten uh, are they preventing it from going up? Maybe not. This could just be a um, price that someone has to pay to, to push it up, right? Now, maybe they decide to uh, sell it off and push it back up. But that's my first reaction. Um, next reaction. This does not have the normal sentiment of a uh, an accumulation kind of like takeoff although I'm trying to get back far enough without going too far back and there we go okay so so it did break down Friday, Friday came out right. Yeah, Friday it was it was on its way down, or maybe it was all the way down Friday. I can't even remember now. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I think it was all the way down, and so it just took off. Yeah, today, so it took off, then came back, tested, so it went over the line. Now this this is usually showing some strength here. So they pushed, somebody pushed a lot of volume to push it up. So they bought a lot up to here. Um, okay. And then they bought a lot again to push it up. And this is not the equivalent of this, this together. So therefore, the ten dollar thing makes me think it is a third party, and so it may take some pushes to get through this area that people are probably considering. Uh, you know, round numbers are usually uh, <coughs> what people put stop losses at or sell targets at because they round numbers. It's easy to to do, right? Uh, Earlier I made some money off of Tesla puts uh, today where I wasn't even uh, watching them. I just put in, uh, I got them for like 
three something, and then I just put in like 562. 5.62. That's fine. And then at some point in the day, I got a ding on my phone that they sold. Now, I think I would have made more, but uh, I was busy. Like I said, I didn't even look at anything. Uh, and I was just using my algo thinking that, okay, it'll be right. So it's kind of interesting that it comes back and it, uh, at the post that it's it's on this top again. So, I mean, we're still stuck between at least what I've drawn out for ranges. Now, if somebody else had a different range, I could see it kind of being different, but I think we're starting to catch up with now. This range was still quite a bit longer, but you can see it was much more violent and collective, right? They really went through a lot there. And maybe that's the whole point. Maybe they're happy to get it at what would be AMC at a dollar. Uh, if you go back historically, the same value, the $10 would be a dollar, right? If we go back in time to back here when it came down to a dollar 46 at the bottom, right? So perhaps that's the trick is they brought it down low enough here, swallowed this up, and are expecting people to get out or larger institutions to get rid of their shares thinking I'm done with this I'm getting out now that I got a chance so um, scared money doesn't make money that's what they say so anyway <laughs> I don't know about that one uh, I'm oftenly uh, setting limits so um, Now how did I see it go at exactly 10, but it's not hitting 10 here? Was it not a round number? Right, I guess I brought it up to here, and I thought it was a round number. Is it not? Yeah, 10's there. Yeah, okay. And 10's there. Okay. So, um... With the velocity that AMC usually opens with, it should be able to buy up whoever's doing these shares if the intent is to go do a show of strength tomorrow. Uh, or even, for that matter, a UTAD. But right now we're still stuck in the range. And they may, like, start to bring, I don't know, will they bring it down? If they think they're gonna break through, very difficult now my my algo seems to think they're going to but it's been uh, pretty much off for the last week for AMC it's been on but it goes off of course AMC has been throwing things in that even confuse uh, most of us analysts that are analyzing this, right? Okay. See, this, these bottoms remind me of typical, like, AMC bottoms where they never break through into a spring like they're supposed to when AMC starts to kind of move up, so that wouldn't surprise me. I'm sure books he's already done now like uh, a spring typically you're supposed to be a little bit above the highs you're not typically supposed to go right at the level you know how <coughs> people have a tendency when they're drawing out a like a trend line like a, a creek line that's supposed to be slightly above uh, I mean, 
it's supposed to be at the angle. So I, what I'm visually looking at is this here, uh, metal part, and I don't know. It's just it's not showing my still not showing my arrow. So I guess like I'm gonna have to be more cognitive of that. I don't know why I stopped showing my arrow in this, but so a creek line would be something like this would technically would have broke the creek. And you know you're supposed to kind of draw wavy because the creek's kind of wavy, and you, you know, uh, and either way you would draw it, it would it would be you know, it kind of broke because it's like it's supposed to be kind of along this way. So we do have a jump the creek moment. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, could it be like one? I let's see. Okay, let's investigate this. This does not remind me of an LPS wipe, but then again, not LPS wipe, but LPS. Um, but then again, it could be because it doesn't have a spring. So this whole bottom part here acts basically as an LPS. This has the formation. It looks like a spring formation, which had a spring effect. It did shoot up. It did pull back to retest something. It shot up again. Shot up here. Came up. Some sellers thought ten dollars was a good level. Sold a lot, so I came back down. Took another run at it. Hit ten dollars. Another big spike of volume right at the end of the day. And that, maybe that was sellers dropping on it, thinking uh, they saw this spike, like I initially did, and thought, oh, okay. So that was the top of the day. The institution sold there, they found their value there, getting out. Instead, it could be a <coughs> just an obscure institution. That's trying to sell it down and not the deposit operator. So some of the you gotta be kind of cognitive of the the deposit operator normally is only operating in this level, but at the same time, um, they did uh, bring it up to this, so they may have left this area in some sorts to a another operator most of the buying over here is all at the bottom you have this one sign here that they sold but maybe they were buying up there I don't know was that the no one the I don't know so what they had one possible sell off here or it could have been a drop of shorts where it went down and they collected it back up See how that round number thing gets me. Mm. Well, the key is, is can we push above 10? Then enough validity to get us to 10.50. Or will it barely come over the 10.05 and be a system recheck but I don't know we can across the creek so in my mind it has to either go into UTAD mode which would be up around this level and kind of just like giant cat ears right this would be the stupid paw of the cat ear but this middle doesn't this does not look like a normal cat ear setup um, it reminds me of a, a J and it's kind of random, get that, you know, that could be what it's doing. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to break through tomorrow, too. It could just kind of break through for the next couple of days and kind of push up there. So let's, uh, let's look at that on the, how it looks as a J pattern. Sure. I mean, like, um... So the J's, uh, as they go up, they get smaller and smaller, right? So, uh, 
each J would be uh, slightly smaller and then until it took off and then it would be like this very quick almost looking like a line like these do coming down these cat ears down we were trying to get it down fast so um, I didn't know I couldn't shrink these <laughs> Did not know I couldn't shrink them. Really? Okay. I guess I can't do it the way I wanted to, but I was going to see if there, were, if I could shrink this and just see if it looks like a J. Um, and it does to me. Point figure thing still really hasn't changed. I don't think. Let's go check that out. And I would suggest people do this quite often. Stockcharge.com. Change this to point figure to make it clip the fastest. Go to AMC. Click on it. We still have a red high pole, which is. Uh, this X column went up too far and all it signified was, was that this was going to have to make three O's back and that and on here it doesn't change until a new thing comes up right until it either goes neutral or not so it's still signifying a high pole warning even though the high pole has already been taken out right what I mean by that is like this has already been this already negated it although I must admit it's very unusual although here's a case here where the O's don't come back down to at least mark the X's see how they normally like line up they're only one box off and if this were to come down to this below 9 to 850 area with an O it would it would mark that off and then you would have a series of X's that once this came up, oh, actually if it makes a series of X's it'll do it anyway after it breaks uh, after it makes a box into 1150 then it's a double top breakout and it can run um, and except the count here would, well I guess yeah the count would be weird because it would have this um, but it seems like it would only be a three count that would be very hard. Well, this, yeah, this this thing would be hard to count for me if it doesn't make that. Oh, hmm. But it's good to come here and check to see what you know. If this is green or red, even if you can't read what's next to it, you like you don't. If you come here and it's it's red, it means bearish. If it's green. It's bullish. Um, an example today, Tesla was <coughs> very, <laughs> very bad. Uh, yeah, descending triple bottom breakdown. Um, yeah, so that's that's the worst possible one you can get. Um, and if you look at here to like this count at the top, uh, it's pretty huge. So, I mean, this may be pullbacks and everything, but in the long run, you're looking at three, four, six, nine, eight, nine. Man. Well, this is probably the biggest one. This, this, this was a sign of weakness that I discovered, and that's why I did it blindly today. Um... So, what you might have tomorrow is another row of X's, then followed by another thing of O's. I don't know if I'll do it all on the same day or a couple. But actually, we can look at that too. I, I, I did get a look at it today. Except at the very beginning of the day before I was trading, when I went to here and launched it, I had my. I, think I had a mark tip. I know I don't normally do Tesla on here. I think I. Oh, yeah, I did delete it, yes. 
deleted it because I was uh, <coughs> I was uh, I was comparing it to the S&P and um, how it kind of did the same moves and then I decided to go park up the S&P instead of this and so yeah I mean it looks like this is just going to be a sign of weakness, but it can it can catch and turn around. But uh, let's look at the S&P here. Those. Yeah. Um. So to me, I saw uh, the buying climax. It's weird because I lock these in and, and then they, then they move. Uh, so. I saw the automatic reaction, sign of strength, sign of weakness that we experienced in the middle of last year. This is about the time uh, it's up for us that uh, the big short guy, Michael Burry, came in with his puts on everything. And if he's right, it could just be a double top where this comes down and we just continue to drop. Oh shoot, post post is already down. Is it down in post? Hmm. Interesting. Uh yeah, it looked like uh see and you can tell the pattern do you see how the pattern and Tesla and it are very much the same? So I was like, why draw it up twice, right? Just figure out what's going on with spy. And then um use that on Tesla <coughs> I know it sounds weird but that's what I did um, I mean if this were to catch and come back over it would just this would just turn into cat ear looking things and then come down this I mean this, this is severely weak and uh since like timing is an issue, uh, there is ways to play the up and down with uh, SPXL if you want to go long, and if you want to go short, SPXS. You can look up those those tickers for the spy, where uh, you can buy them like shares and hold them for as long as you want, but they. Uh, like it's like holding shorts and it's a uh, bear factor of times three so it'd be like uh, whatever money you put in would be times three compared to what you would make off of the, the normal S&P so I mean if we I think when it was down here it was at $60 for the S&P SPX S and if there's a sign of weakness then it's going to drop below that so if you get in now, I think it's around seventeen dollars, eighteen dollars, something like that, and it goes to sixty at the minimum. You know, you might be looking at you know a hundred dollars by the time we got got out for every seventeen dollars you put in now. I mean, why go against the big short? I don't know. So back to AMC. What do we let's look at it again? Now this is like totally like cold looking at it see to me this speaks the most volume these volumes like this I mean it would have to be like the end of the company it'd have to be the end of the company if it doesn't get back up to like the company was fine back here right and if the company was fine back here this is before it started having problems and then COVID hurt and really hurt it, it was doing fine. So, if we just take it at its lowest point back then, at $83, that's pretty fair. Now, it is highly in debt, but a lot of companies write off debt. So, the fundamentals don't scare me on AMC. Um, the only thing that scares me is they've marked it down so low 
they destroy the passion in the stock? Have they have they finally fed people up where they were like, okay, I'm not believing the hype anymore. If they have, then the institutions can really take a, take off with it because that excitement's easy to get back, right? If you're like, damn it, I could have got back in at seven and now it's at thirty, but it's just gonna go to the moon, you know. Now it's at 60, at some point that fever would come back in, right? And they'll help push it up to different people at different levels. So, um, that's where you get the word dumb money from, right? They always enter in at the, the wrong time and the exit at the right time. So normally, like in a sideways pattern like this, if it doesn't break, ugh. If it doesn't break, or if it barely breaks, you're going to be really wanting to look at, you know, this thing coming back down, right? This would be the normal. It fails, and so you, you put your puts on. It's not a sign of strength. It's a UTAD, and that's why. What I'll repeat this again. Where, um, <clears throat> so. If it comes up for a sign of strength, it comes back down. This is, um, just go over this, like, what smart money does with the thing. They go up. Once it comes back down, it gets done a sign of strength. Once it comes back down into this, this, this zone here, this is where they enter in, in the money calls, and out of the money puts. And the idea is, the further that it goes up, the more money you make with the calls. But um, if it fills and starts to go the other way, then you sell your calls and your out of the money puts will probably pay off because it, if it breaks the top part and fails, it's going to break the bottom part more than likely and keep going. So that's why in the money here, out of the money for the puts equal amounts it's a hedging thing and then you say well what do you do with it you know it goes up um, with the puts well you let them die that's the truth you just let them expire worthless because you've made enough of the calls that it doesn't matter anyway I hope for some reason that it was helpful today and that uh, you can hear me. I don't know. Too many complaints about not being able to hear me. I try to tweak the mic a little bit. Uh, but I'm very tired. A long day. Hopefully this is what we'll see. What I'm ending it with. This is what I would... This is what I would hope to see. It would be kind of nice. I'd like to see continuation up. And then another folding down J pattern thing. Um, thing folks this morning and say like you know it seems like an opportunity for a swing trade uh, that's what I would you know you don't want to hold the <laughs> calls or the puts over you know a day right like you, you I, I never carry them in a second day right um, unless they're you know completely worthless and you know might as well just sit on them till they die but otherwise uh, get rid of them the same day you know, if you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're using, if you're using uh, options, if you're um, doing it with stocks, that's a totally different thing. Um, so much better plays you can do with stocks. Um, but um, can't make as as much money with less. <laughs> I guess. So, anyway, that's uh, AMC for you and, and a few other ones. Tesla and Spy, in my opinion. And my entertainment is... Um, uh, to catch you on the flip side, but... The sky walks and... The sky without legs walks into a bar. 